Uh, and I'm here with my new video on WP migration, upload the uh, size increase. Generally, a new updation on WP migration, people find like they are having maximum upload limit up to not even up to 512. Only. So I'm just here to increase, uh, let you know like how you can increase the uh, upload file limit. There are two plugins actually required. Uh, it, uh, you know, uh, there are only one additional plugin actually required for uh, for updating uh, this limit now in latest update of WP migration. So let's uh, update first uh, WP migration. Search from uh, add new plugin. Here it is. Okay, so here it is. Install now. In typical scenario, that depends. I mean, in latest uh, update in WP mi migration, all in one migration, they have changed lots of things in uh, their, their uh, customization uh, file uploading actually. So now they are, you know, converting that all the files into chunks and uh, then uploading it into the system. And that uh, uploading limit is uh, now depending upon your server limits also. So server accessibility, if you are using the shared server, it might be you know showing you the 100 MB or 100, uh, 200 MB or something. So I'm using that uh, local host currently, and uh, here probably it is going to show like 200 MB something. So one second, yes, it's showing 200 MB. So increasing the size, uh, just need to go on. Uh, you know, plug in and there is one option called editor. Click on the editor button and select the file that you on which you want to you know change the edit. So typically for this means we are selecting this all-in-one WP migration from here. Select the plugin and click on the select button. After opening this, uh, we need to find it out uh, this constant.php file which uh, which is responsible for uh, you know upload increasing the uploading limit size. And here you can easily find this on the 285 line number. It's given, one second. Yeah, it's 284. It's given uh, the maximum file size, upload maximum file size. So just increase this two to four. It will give you the access up to one GB. Uh, you know, after, after increasing the size, you need to update the file also. Let me update this first. Okay. And I, I found like after even updating this file directly, it is not going to increase the, you know, update uh, uh, file limit. I mean, upload file limit in WP migration because, you know, that again, as I told you, depends upon the server configuration also. Let's see on the import button again, clicking on the import button again. It might be, you know, showing you the same size, 200 MB. So to increase the same si uh, the size, you need to you know download another uh, application, another uh, plugin which is in, which came from the you know all-in-one WP migration site. Its name is uh, all-in-one WP migration import. So this is the link https import wp migration com. I am just going to give you the link of uh, this this uh, plugin also. You can download it directly from there. It's ba uh, you can download the basic plugin from here because you are using the free option of uh, WP migration. I already have downloaded that, so let me upload that one. Click on the plugin, click go on add new plugin. And uh, because I already downloaded that particular file, let me you know find out this plugin where I put it. So click on the choose file and go on. Uh, it's already in my downloads so all in one WP migration file extension. I am going to install this particular plugin. So this is the plugin which is, uh, uh, you know, typically uh, giving you the access or even automatically, you know, configure the server size also according to this particular file, all in one migration tool. So you need not to you know change anything, any configuration in this particular file. Just after activating this file, if you you know go on this all in one W migration import button, you can easily find it out that will automatically increase from uh, you know uh, 200 MB to 1 GB. So this is the limit which I already updated for you guys, and uh, this is how you can you know operate in your existing server or even in your existing website. WP uh, migration is a really very nice tool they have created and uh, uh, and uh, you know uh, this is very easy way to 
change your server, uh, change your website from one server to another. So this is it, guys, uh, for this video. And uh, you know, the description in description, I'm just going to give you the link of this particular file uh, download. You can click on that there and uh, can download directly from there as well. Uh, if you like this video, just uh, you know, uh, give us the thumbs up, share the video, and even subscribe the video. It will help me a lot to you know create the new web, uh, new videos for you. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. Thanks a lot.